Welcome my friends, it's time to continue with the builds and today we are going to be talking about gold builds and this build will be based on the free other battle build I posted earlier so if you haven't seen that yet I highly recommend you to do so because it contains a lot of useful information about the build I will not be going through again in this video. And when should you be using a gold build is basically on two cases. A. If you want to spend your precious time out of battle hours because you need a lot of gold fast or B. If you are at the point of the game where you can make gold or the battle profitable and it makes sense for you to do so and we'll talk more about that in a moment but first we'll take a look at quick look at the heroes and items to make a full gold build for your time out of battle hours and then we'll talk about the gold out of battle a little bit and finally end up the video with a bonus tip free of charge. Great so let's start with the heroes and starting with the most important ones we have the military band mail here gives you bonus gold plus 40% and that's pretty simple he doesn't need any items to work but if you can get E tier items with a nice yellow line such as bonus gold or cooldown yellow lines over here you can use these items on this guy to boost your your build a little bit and the second one we have the orc band and if you are a new guy you might overlook this guy because he doesn't say anything about giving you more gold but instead he gives you 20% more monsters per wave and that means more kills and that means more gold so this is a really important guy in your gold build and for items it's the same as for the military band you don't need any lines but if you have some bonus gold or cooldown yellow lines you can use them for this guy as well coming up next we have the alchemist who turns monsters into frogs and they give you bonus gold so you will want as much cooldown on this guy as possible preferably double cooldown on both items if you have such items laying around and if you feel like he's gobbling up your mana on a little bit too heavy doses you can use some mp cost reduction runes or maybe lines to ease up on that a little bit and as the fourth hero we have the rose and he is a little bit different than the previous three because his level actually goes up higher than 21 so eventually you will want to level this guy up to 10,000 because for every unit you level up to 10,000 you will get one each extra skill point for your skill tree but you will not want to go higher than 10,000, you will stop here. And when he goes up to 10,000, when you get to that level, you will want to equip him with this static orb. Because in that case he will do some personal damage to the monster's HP and that makes him to scale up uh, with the wave difficulty even without leveling up him up further than 10,000. Uh, attack speed lines are the best ones for this guy, because his purpose is to give you just bonus gold. And before he is 10,000, and you don't have the static orb yet, if you don't have attack speed, you can fill him up with other damage boosting items as well in the, in the meantime. And as for towers, we are using the golden tree just like we did in the free other battle build as well. And we have also replaced the frozen tower with the trophy, which gives you a nice fat bonus gold plus 40%. And in the castle parts, we are keeping the sealed castle, but we are also taking in the gold castle to give you a nice little bonus gold. Now these castle parts and towers should be included in your every gold build. And as for altars, you are good to go with the healing altar, just as you did in the free other battle build. Because gold builds are always weaker than free other battle builds, so you will probably want that extra healing just in case you need it. But if you are super confident in your strength, in the strength of your build, and you have some extra dark crystals laying around, you can use the altar of greed as well for a small bonus gold income but you are good to go with the healing altar that's what i usually use myself in dresses we have the full gold boosting dresses for your time out of battle and gold bar golden heart and bronze beast should be quite obvious for the gold boosting attributes but we also have the wordless coin in here and why is that is because in time mode which means time out of battle it gives you another plus 15 percent bonus gold acting as another gold boosting treasure and I would like to mention that if you want to use the Devil Horn with your time auto battle, using the Devil Horn plus one is not worth the trade off for dropping a gold boosting treasure, so you should be going higher than that if you want to want to use that. And now with all the gold things presented here, you will have the full gold build for your time auto battle. And if we compare it to the free auto battle build, you will notice that we have taken off Dorothy, Dark Eyes Wizard, Dark Elf and Smith and replaced them with the gold boosting heroes. Now depending on your items and levels, this might or might not be too much for you to handle to lose both of your healers and two of your crowd control units. So if you feel like your waves are too hard to beat with a full gold build, I would recommend as a very minimum setup to have the full 
called Boosting Treasures, and at least the Military Band and the Orc Band in your build. And this will allow you to keep either both of your healers or one healer and Dark Eyes Wizard in your build. But of course you should aim to have three or four Cold Boosting Heroes if you can. Always go the maximum you can. Now if you have the 13th hero slot purchased, this will help you out a lot because you can still include the four cold boosting heroes and have one healer in your build. For example, I can put Smith in here. So this will be a huge, huge help if you have purchased that one. But if you haven't, you will have to figure out how much you can handle. Okay, so what about the profitable gold build? Well, this will be done with the Devil Horn plus two or higher. And a couple of things I want to say first is you're going to be able to achieve a profitable gold build in when you are around over 500,000 waves in the game. It's hard to say exactly when because it depends on a lot of factors. And if the highest Devil Horn you can use is plus two on your gold build, but with your free auto battle build you could use a plus three or higher, and you are still a below 1 million waves in the games, it's probably better to keep on going with the free other battle build until you are at least at a 1 million waves, because that will make you progress faster and you will have more skill points to use, which may, will make your builds easier and stronger to use. So for the gold auto battle build, we'll be replacing Wordless Coin with the Devil Whore, because we can't use Wordless Coin in gold auto battle build. And... With three treasures and four heroes, you will have the full build. If you can handle this, good for you. You are all good to go and go waving. But because beating waves with Devil Horn is significantly harder than just single waving, there's a good chance that using full four heroes and three treasures is too much for you to handle. So if we want to take a look at the minimum recommended, like profitable, sustainable set up for your builds, I would recommend you to have the full three gold dressers and at least the military band male and the orc band in your build. Other option might be to replace the bronze piece with a power glow if that allows you to bring in another gold boosting hero such as the alchemist in your build. But of course you should aim to have the full three dressers and three or four gold boosting heroes in your build if you can. And now again, having 13 hero slots will help you tremendously. So if you want to spend any money in this game, that's one of the best purchases you can make. Okay, so let's pretend I can only run three gold heroes and I have the 13 hero slot purchased. That would allow me to put in one healer, for example smith in my build, and also I could replace the fourth hero with either Dark Elf to give me both healers in my build, or Dark Eyes Wizard to give me some control if that's what I need, and it depends where your weakness is if you need more healers or more crowd control. Dorothy can be sacrificed first always when you drop heroes for your cold boosting hero. And then about the skill tree, you should be using the same skill tree as you are using in your free other battle build as well. So please take a reference from the free other battle build I posted earlier. And once you have enough skill points to travel the outer circle and towards the other trees, you will naturally gain some of these 1% increased bonus called nodes over here. But it's not really advised to go and seek for any extras over here because you would have to use two skill points for a mere 1% increased bonus called gain and those two skill points are most likely better to be used to make your build stronger and more stable so you can easier include more gold boosting heroes in your build instead. And those are the basics of gold builds and making a profitable gold other builder builder. If you have any questions please do leave a comment down below I will do my best to give you a satisfying answer. And I promised a bonus tip, so this is for your time order battle usage, and your time order battle is based on real life time. So whenever you want to use your precious little time order battle hours, you should be using three times game speed if possible. So make sure to grab that free 3x game speed buff whenever you want to burn your precious, precious order battle hours. Now, I thank you very much for watching. If you want to support me, please consider hitting the subscribe button, that would mean a lot, and I'm gonna see you next time, so once again, thank you, and good bye!